everyone welcome to mom talks and budget hope everyone is having a great day in this video i will be doing my last uh, paycheck for april stuffing cash stuffing if you are new to my channel and you like budget with me and you like saving challenges and you like sinking funds please go ahead and subscribe and let's become friends because everybody need a friend if you are my returning subscriber you already know how much i love you all right heads up um in month of march and april i have totally um you know fall off this budget wagon um I, I i'm trying my best but um i mean religiously i've done my saving challenges and i have done my um you know transfer tuesdays but as far as my budget goes i have been you know not keeping track at least i'm trying to keep track but i'm not so um for month of may i am gonna get really serious about my budget again and keeping track of everything <clears throat> and i think a lot had to do with the fact that you know i had my new job um i was just going through a lot of uh family you know things and so i i mean i tried my best but that's okay you know i'm just gonna get back up and you know start doing things again all right before i start rambling again let me go ahead and start this off so um in month of uh, my last paycheck was three thousand four hundred and eighty two dollars as far as my part-time income two goes i was on vacation so i don't have any so the total was three hundred and eighty two dollars i did my car payment for two hundred dollars groceries two hundred dollars gas hundred dollars my roth i all this money i kept in the bank just letting you know roth five hundred dollars because i do transfer tuesdays um i did a mention on my last video i did buy ibon which was thousand dollars uh mommy trader patreon is twenty dollars i'll be doing invest i did investment or will be doing investment for $500. And then I, since I was not doing too good uh, using my envelope, envelopes, I did use my credit card, but I'm gonna go ahead and make the payment, the complete payment for $250. So let's go ahead and start off with my envelopes. I will be giving um, um, my envelopes $20, food $20, spending $20, miscellaneous $12. Um, and then I will have sinking fund for $340 and I did not do it. We're just going to wing it when I do the stuffing. So we're just going to go ahead and wing it. Okay. So we're just going to try our best and then we're going to be left with $300 and that is going to go to my saving challenges because you guys know I'm going to do saving challenge. If you do add all this up, which is $2,770 plus $72 plus $340 plus $300, it all equals to $3,482. So we are going to stuff $340 in our envelopes. Now, I have not done any kind of budget uh, or dedicated where the money is going. So we're just going to wing it and you guys going to wing it together. And if I make a fool out of myself, hey, it's okay. I That's okay. Once in a while, we just have to do what we have to do, right? So we are stuffing $340. I'm going to put this on the side. Let's go ahead and count our money. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, oh, 60, 80, 400, and then I have 5, 10, 1, 2, because we are stuffing $340 in our sinking fund, and then also in our envelopes, 
you know the wallet envelopes we're doing $70 so our total is $412 that we are stuffing today so I'm not even gonna get a cash tray um, today we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna try our best and from next month we are gonna try our best to do a good job okay all right so let's start off with our envelopes all right so we have my kids uh envelope uh that I, this is for my wallet and we are gonna go ahead and put twenty dollars in here and we now we have 20 40 60 80 100 110 dollars we are not buying a lot of things after school anymore we're not stopping anywhere only because i keep snacks in my car right now so they just eat that snack and then when we get home we eat our food all right so that is done and in food we're also going to give ourselves 20 dollars And now we have 20, 40, 50 dollars. I've been meal prepping and I've been taking food at work. All right, spending, we are gonna go ahead and give ourselves 20 dollars. So we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 65 dollars. We've been doing really good with not spending a lot of money. I can tell you guys that much. All right, gas. We do uh, keep that in the bank, but we do have $50 in here that's been sitting here just in case we ever want to use cash. Miscellaneous. We are going to go ahead and do $12. And now we have... I know that's a pretty random number, $12, but you know, I want to keep it even. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32. So $132. Our miscellaneous envelope is doing really good. Because we're just I just I just have turned like so cheap lately. Um, plus I've been really busy and we've been eating home a lot and it's, you know, the weather has been not too great and we were on vacation. All right. So the next binder that we are going to stuff is my revolving binder. So we are going to, now I don't know how much each, uh, binder is going to get. So we're just going to wing it together. If I mess up guys, please forgive me. Um, usually I am, you know, organized where my money is going to go, but this time I'm just not, okay? We just want to go ahead and stuff this, uh, envelopes. So self-care, we are going to go ahead and give a $20. And I did use this before I went on vacation. So we have 20 40 60 $80. And soon we're going to have to get my nails done. All right. We're not gonna give anything on oh no. Uh, let's do shy spending. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a 20. And now we have 20 and $40. Uh, kids spending, we are gonna go ahead and give $20. So now we have 20 and $40. All right. I do keep some money in grocery here because sometime I go in the grocery store and use my cash. Um, so I did take um, already money out for grocery that I kept in the bank. And I do have $50 in here and we're just going to keep that. All right. We're not going to stuff gift. Eating out, uh, we have a good amount, 20, 40, 60, so we're just going to keep that. We're not going to stuff family fun. We're not going to stuff blessing, and we're not going to stuff Amazon Etsy. So we're not going to, we're done with this binder. Ooh. 
let's start with this one. We're not going to stuff ladies vacation. We are going to go ahead and stuff health. And we now have 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160. So 160. Uh, investment we're not gonna do. LASIK we're not gonna do. Electronic we are gonna go ahead and give a 20. And we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95 dollars. Kids activity, we are gonna go ahead and give it a 20. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 10, 20. So 220, summer is coming up and they're gonna have a lot of activity. And I think that's another reason I'm not spending as much money because I know when summer comes, we tend to spend more money home we have no money so we are gonna go ahead and give it a 20. vacation we're doing saving challenge for the vacation so we're not gonna worry about that car maintenance uh we are not gonna worry about that either we just got an oil change and kids investment and no so we're done with this binder let's go ahead and um this is our long-term and our saving binder. So my runaway money, let's beat that up in case I wanna run away. All right, so now we have 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, and 395. So we have $395, right? Okay, I didn't count that right. Let's go ahead and try this again. 100, 200, 250. You know, um, 50 always mess me up. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 45. So 145. So 395. I was correct. It took me a long time, but I was correct. Yay. All right. So that is that. Oh, come on. All right. Um,. Family saving, let's go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to skip family saving. I'm going to skip kids tuition. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we will go ahead and give, uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I am going to go ahead and... Put this, I have 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 100. So 100, I'm going to put in family saving, actually. Sorry if I'm all over the place. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, where I'm going to put my money. So we are going to go ahead and, all right, so we have $1,000 in bank already, and we have 100, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 320. So we have 13, 20. And family saving now. 
And then, let's see. Okay. okay. And then we are going to go ahead and put twenty forty dollars in my kids saving and now we have in Eliza's saving we have hundred two hundred three hundred four hundred five hundred six hundred six fifty Six seventy, six ninety, seven ten, seven thirty, seven fifty, seven seventy, seven ninety, eight hundred and eight hundred and ten. Correct? If not, it's okay. But at least I put forty dollars in here. Uh, okay. All right, come on. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with this, guys. I'm sorry. Don't judge me. Please don't judge me. I'll improve. I promise. I'll get better at this. All right, and then Nora's saving. We are going to go ahead and put $40 in here as well. And now in Nora saving, we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 650, 700, 720, 740, 760, 780, 800, and $820. That's pretty good. And once they're $1,000, I'm going to go ahead and put that in their bank. And that is that i'm so sorry guys this is it for the video i'm so sorry i was all over in the place but i just wanted to go ahead and stuff this i didn't have much to stuff as you guys know but uh every little counts and then my plan from month of may is to get better uh with my budgeting jotting everything down um just getting better i think i just um the past two months life has been uh really rocky um new position the kids were going through stuff um school is almost ending so the, the last minute things going on like you know kids have map testing my little one had um kindergarten screening and then um i have to teacher appreciation uh we coming along and then um, a lot of things are going along um and my work is really busy because we are getting ready for um uh, you know creation you know um so we just it's just been like one um crazy right you know my job uh is easy when it comes to clinical i like being on the floor but as far as the administrative part goes it's just a lot of learning a lot of you know it, nothing is easy you know anything on the computer nothing is easy you just have to figure it out and um so it's just been up and down but i'm it's much better i'm really blessed um every day is a learning experience so that is for the video sorry it was a little chit chatty and um you know if i was all over the place i'll get better i promise guys and if you made it this far um let me know how you are changing your budget or if there's anything changing uh for you next month for me is uh, i gotta get back on track and start budgeting um and jotting everything down that i spent not use my credit card use cash um so thank you and if you want and if you liked what you saw please go ahead and like and subscribe give me a chance i'll get better uh, and um, please comment below and please have a blessed day take care of yourself and your loved ones thank you bye